Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here for episode 35 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series. Uh, sorry there wasn't one on Saturday or on Sunday. Um, I had a really busy weekend. Uh, it was absolutely awesome, but it left me so too exhausted to make a video. Uh, so anyway, today we're talking about two more uh, guns, basically, or, or defensive weapons. Um, because these are the last two in that section, um, except for the block cannon, which I still haven't managed to get it to work right. Um, and the reason we're talking about two of them this time is because the air pressure gun is so simple, it doesn't really warrant its own uh, video. Uh, so because of that, I am going to be naming this video after the Van de Graaff generator, because it's the more important thing. But anyway, let's get talking about both of these things. Um, so, the air pressure gun is pretty darn simple. Um, it's crafted with a sonar unit, which you'll, re you'll remember from oops, what was that? You'll remember from the um, sonic weapon video. Uh, an impeller, four steel ingots, two base panels with an empty space in the middle. That gets you the air pressure gun. And what the air pressure gun does? This is the air pressure gun, by the way. It looks kind of cool. It's got this uh, business end on the on the end. It takes power in from the back. And uh, it does require uh, 512 newton meters of torque and 16 uh, kilowatts. So we'll give it 12. And um, how do we get to 16 from there? I think it's something. It's not very high. I think it's like. Uh, let's start there and see what we get. No. Nope. 32. Alright, so now we've got our 16 through 84, and if we hit this, it says, yep, power is being received. And uh, what happens is that it's, it uses the power to build pressure. And then if I spawn in... Spawn. Spawn in a mob. Well, he walked out of the way. There we go. <laughs> he gets like hurled away <laughs> that's pretty cool so I mean I, I, let's let's see what happens when we give it more power I don't know if it makes it go further or what I imagine it would I, I bet it's the torque that matters oh what are you doing inside the block I don't know. I don't know if it has if you can increase the range or what, but it, it, it you know, blasts them away pretty cool. Max range 32. Come on, spiders. That seemed to go further. Let's just punch it up. Yeah, max range is 42, so as you give it more power, the range goes up and it can throw them further. How come it didn't shoot you? <laughs> that's pretty cool. So that's basically the air pressure gun. That's that's it. That's what it does. You know, I uh, let me grab a screwdriver because I didn't actually try and see how how can you orient this? This is the back, by the way. This is where you put the power. So you can't update, you can't rotate it up or down, so you can only blast the mobs horizontally. So you can't shoot them up in the air and make them die from fall damage. But, you know, the air pressure gun can be used to blow things off of edges, which is probably the your best use for it. And these spiders are going to get really annoying. But hey, we, we need these for the next demonstration. I'm actually going to move this. I was just going to turn that around, but I'm actually not going to do that. So output side on the top, and uh, we'll cut this out. No. Go away. Just do one, one. Okay, so now we've got one watt going into this thing because this is all that the Van de Graaff generator requires. So to craft the Van de Graaff generator, you need to give it two base panels, two hubs, a piece of glass pane, not glass block, glass pane, two bricks, and two steel ingots. That gets you the Van de Graaff generator. And what the Van de Graaff generator does is that it uh, it takes in power. That's not enough. Because that's, that's not enough. It's not doing it. Oh, yeah. it's You'll notice that it's actually with one watt. See, if you look at the bottom there, you see, uh, it's, I think it's it's actually storing up power. Oh, there it goes. 
but it wasn't nearly enough. So uh, what you need to do is you need to give the Vandergrav generator enough power. Let's give it um, 4 newton meters at 256. And then you'll see that the Vandergraaff is, you know, it stores up power and then it discharges electrical shocks. And anything that gets close enough, currently its range is only 2 meters, uh, anything that gets close enough gets zapped. Actually, it said it ranges 2 meters, but that was much farther away than 2 meters. So I think it's, it's lying to me. Oh, it ranges 8 meters now. Okay, yeah, let's see, the range goes up as it stores power. You'll notice in the bottom left there the range uh, going up. I think it maxes out at, it maxes out at 16 and uh, that's when it discharges. So if there's anything within 16 it'll discharge into that uh, entity. Otherwise it'll just discharge into like the ground or something. But of course we can give it more power. So uh, let's just ramp it up through these uh, various ranges. So 32 newton meters at 512 See, now it's at its max. See, it charges up more powerful shocks. If you let it, if you let it power up all the way, and then it gets hit, see, it just did 16 damage. If it's one-shotting these spiders. So let's grab this iron golem spawn egg spawns a little bit more health. Let's just make some fence here so he can't get away. Holy cow, he just died. So you'll notice there's an interesting difference between these things. If the Vandergraaff generator is completely charged, it'll, it, it's, it's, ten, it's just one shot to these things. Um, if it's not completely charged and it's just discharging everything as soon as it gets it, it's only doing like one damage per hit. That's going to take a little while. But you see, the Vandergraaff generator is pretty cool. Kill, come on, kill the golem. This is getting annoying. Kill it. So that's that. Let's give it some more power. See, that was a steam engine. So you can see it's already pretty darn useful. Pump it up to gas. 128, 512. Wait, what was that? 512 radians, okay. No. 512 radians, 128 newton meters. So you look, the max range it uh, is after that from super far away. See, now it's firing faster. The reason it's firing faster is because it has, you know, it's getting more power quicker. So you can use the Van de Graaff generator as a uh, defensive weapon. Right? But it will also discharge itself into conductive objects, apparently. I don't know. Let's see if Block of Iron does it. Nah. Oh. What? I got my transducer because that, that was looked interesting. Okay. So if you have a block, a conductive block, touching the Van de Graaff generator, then it will discharge straight into it. Of course, it will jump further if it has more power. According to the handbook entry, let's just give it more power. 16 at 131072. Actually, we'll just give it 16 megawatts. 
Oh, it just exploded. Yep. Okay. So uh, that illustrates uh, well an important point about the Van de Graaff. If you give it too much power, it does explode. So be careful with that. Don't give the Van de Graaff too much power. Now, uh, you'll want to remember the Van de Graaff generator for later, because not only can you use it as basically a defensive weapon, um, is that it also has a very important usage in reactor craft. So when we get to that, or if you already know what I'm talking about, then uh, the Van de Graaff generator is used in reactor craft. So. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's not very expensive either. Um, hubs aren't the cheapest thing to make. It's a lot of steel. But uh, no, they're pretty good. And as long as enemies aren't constantly running up at your door, uh, it tends to... Yeah, you can see there, you saw that it was one-shotting uh, if, if the uh, mobs that did show up. So it's pretty, pretty cool. So anyway, that's all. That's it. Uh, we talked about the air pressure gun and the Vandergrav generator. That completes... Uh, the uh, defensive and offensive machines section, except for the block cannon, which I haven't been able to get work right. So uh, we're going to talk about next, um, well we've got a bunch of different categories here that we could talk about. I, I, I think we've talked about everything on the production, no we haven't. Okay, this is, this is what we'll do next. We'll start talking about these mod interaction machines uh, uh, next. We've talked about one of them already, but we'll go ahead and, uh, and the next things we'll talk about are these mod interaction uh, machines. So that should be pretty fun. So anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, coming soon, look forward to some pretty big cool things, uh, hopefully, if I can, you know, get myself around to actually working on them. Uh, I'm, I'm planning something pretty awesome, and we'll see how that comes out. Um, so anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, stay tuned for the future episodes. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.